I just got the train down to uh, Gieri Raposto. Gieri Raposto. Uh, we cycled about uh, four or five clicks north for the road into uh, Etna. Or uh, there's a little town actually I'm going to go to, uh, which I've forgotten the name of. But uh, the first thing I noticed uh, when I got off the train from Messina, which is about 60 kilometres north, uh, is there was a this. I couldn't cycle it because the road is it's a danger road. I mean, this is the road here, it's just deadly. It's full of Arctic, so it's just there's no room. I've got to say, uh, Italian driving is. Italian psycho, it really is. 30th of July, uh, that's three, just under three weeks in on this tour. Um, sitting on a late 16th century Sicilian veranda, <laughs> which is just fantastic, with a room here which is massive. It's all really serious stone, um, and I'm expecting Martin Scorsese to suddenly start to walk around and say, Pete, you've actually been in the film, uh, because he just seems so <laughs> almost a cliche, but it's not, it's real. Um, with a, a panini, which is the you know the local sandwich with anchovies and uh, a bottle of Peroni and um, the local um, um, olives in a little jar. So you know, you know, it doesn't get better than that. Um, so yeah, here I am. You know, it's been a bit of a hard day. It's been really, this is my first night in Sicily. So um, and it's getting hot. It's getting. I'm going to go south. I'm not going to bother doing it now. It's like Blackpool P Pleasure Beach in the 1960s. It's just everybody goes there, and I'm, I really want to avoid everybody. You know. Shame. I, I would have liked to do it there, but I think I'll do it in winter. You know, something a little bit different, uh, as opposed to the holiday season, because it's just you know it's like queues to go up. Uh, forget that. Boring. Uh, so I'm going to go into the centre, and I'm going to go to a village called Colione. Yes, a village called Colione. Uh, the Colione family. You know from uh, uh, <laughs> from the Scorsese films again. Uh, so I'm going to go to uh, you know the heart of Mafia country and uh, see if it uh, tallies with my brain image. Uh, but uh, have a look at uh, where I am. We're cycling through the uh, interior of Sicily. And uh, it's absolutely bloody gorgeous. It really is gorgeous. And I'm just coming to a uh, oh. yeah, um, a crossroad. at Ragusa and uh, it was a bit of a climb actually uh, to get here but I've got to say it was god damn well worth it because uh, the view of Ragusa from here is absolutely superb have a look Uh, I've been about uh, 15 kilometres from Agentia going west on the coast and uh, it's just too hot. <laughs> uh, I'm just drinking so much water uh, and I'm sweating so much, it's unbelievable. Uh, and I'm, it's, it's just really hard work because it's the heat. Um, it must be upper 30s today and I'm in the sun so you know direct sunlight it's 
it's uh, it is hot and I'm absolutely soaked with sweat uh, so I need to get to a small village get a hotel get a shower and just chill out because I mean literally chill uh, because it's just like this is no good this is uh, hard work so uh, later 8th of August uh, I'm heading for San Siana uh, in the interior of uh, Sicily and it's, uh, it's, it's another hot day actually um, but then on the all in Sicily they're all bloody hot days um, but it's getting a little cooler since I've come off the coast uh, a bit more tolerable uh, although it's getting hillier uh, and there's no tourists uh, absolutely not uh, which is great because as soon as you come off the coast uh, the tourism just drops off 90% uh, which is fantastic because I find tourists a little bit you know chic like to be honest uh, but yeah uh, on the way to this little town so here we are I'll speak to you later Ciao. This is the size of Sicily I haven't seen and it's it's getting even more beautiful it really is nice I mean, I'm in mean the mountains and the mountains are gorgeous and they're getting better as they get higher uh, it's got this sort of slight Scottish feel to it but when the sun shines it definitely in Scotland uh, it's a bit drier but it's, it's got that nice feel about it um, I used to a little run down the hill on the uh, with the camera and it's, it's just so you cycling through, it's really nice. Medieval. It was absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and I'm cycling down now to a, to a, a really nice little reservoir where I'm going to camp. I've got wine, the whole lot of the works from the shop. Uh, but this part of Sicily is pretty, pretty beautiful. It really is gorgeous. It's made the whole thing work. Just, just to be here now. And these mountain top villages. Uh, it's. I mean, look at this. I've just come from there. Actually, I've just come down the side. Come up, come along the mountain road and it's it's uh what can you say it's bellissimo bellissimo uh so i'm gonna to camp tonight it's gonna to be great i'm gonna get a good night's sleep i just know it uh i'm gonna get down by the fresh water so be fresh water down by the lake uh get a really nice campsite and uh, just thoroughly enjoy this moment because it's really nice it's just a really beautiful evening uh but i'll speak to you tomorrow morning well, here we are, this is uh, sunrise just now over uh, quite a remote little lake in the uh, Sicilian mountains. Um, nice, very nice. Mm. Yeah, I'm just doing one of my little excursion trips uh, between villages without the panniers and stuff like I did last time in, uh, in Greece. And I've just got up this uh, absolutely beautiful village uh, it's ancient it really is I'll show you it's the top of the hill here uh, that is uh, 2,500 feet above sea level and I just come down uh, on the bike and I've got, it was a really nice run down and I'm still going to run down anyway uh, but the scenery around here is absolutely gorgeous uh, uh, and I can't remember the name of the village uh, because I can never remember the name of the villages because they're also bloody complicated Italian names or Sicilian names uh, but I'm going over here uh, where I'm staying in a hotel in fact it's just over there uh, and that's, look we've got a bit of ancient monument here a bit of, a bit of Norman keep looks like here look there you go all over the place uh, ancient history olive groves 
there's some really big mountains over there which I'm looking at. Ooh, we've got time to do a bit of a climb. Uh, but just look at this scenery. Just it's. Sicilia. Perfect, isn't it? Well, once again, I find myself uh, by design uh, off the beaten track uh, on an unpaved, unmetal road going north in the centre of Sicily uh, in the mountains. And it's an absolutely gorgeous area. It's beautiful. Uh, I'm just uh, about 20 clicks north of a little village called Contessa going to uh, an inland lake called uh, Laguna de Galcia, which is about 10 kilometres in this direction, so uh, yeah, it's lovely, it's beautiful. Uh, I'm just a bit worried about the water situation because I find most of the situations around here are dry. Most of the wells are dry and I've got about five litres left and that's, even though it's not a cause for concern right now, it could be, well, or rather it wasn't, put it that way. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day, so I'm going to carry on. I'll speak to you later. Ciao. I'm going to camp actually tonight at so this Lake uh, Garcia. Um, not only are there no tourists in this area, there is uh, nobody. <laughs> there is nobody here except me. Uh, this vast area of a lake with this wonderful countryside uh, and wonderful wildlife and there's only, well it seems like the only person I've encountered is me. Uh, I'm the only person here uh, and I haven't seen a car all day um, so I'm a bit worried. <laughs> Straight away, a bit worried. No, I'm not really worried actually, quite pleased, that's lovely. Uh, but um, yeah, just, just have a look at this um, area. There's some wonderful wildlife around here, some nice uh, interesting bird life, uh, but have a look at the lake. Yeah, it makes a real change from uh, southern Sicily, uh, where are all the tourists? <laughs> uh, great, I'll speak to you, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to sleep tonight actually, under the stars as they call it, uh, and it's such a wonderful evening, a great campsite, and it's absolutely